so everybody it looks like rebecca ford de you know creative director has a farewell 2023 see you in 2024 they uh tweeted out it's been another magnificent trip around Soul Tenno, 2023's end of year holiday message from Warframe creative director Reb awaits Reb Ford. Yeah, so Tenno, what a year it has been for us. Warframe celebrated its 10 year anniversary, which is a milestone I could never, could have never imagined when we first launched. We now say goodbye to 2023, and before we go, it's time to share some thoughts on the past 12 months. Calendar is harshly reminding us how fast time goes by, and it demands Res uh, retrospective thoughts so we don't lose sight of our perspective. We go into our 11th year next year, we need to bring some learning with us. But first a question, do you have a favorite Warframe from 2023? Citrine, Clervo, Dagath, or Corvex? Each of these new Warframes came with an update of varying complexities and size. We've added so much this year and learned even more. Highlights and lessons were common. Company uh, with each update and hotfix. Here are some that stand out to me. Okay, let's take a look. <clears throat> Highlights, Tenocon 2023 in person, energizing to have the community rallying around and in person for our reveal of Whispers in the Walls and Warframe 1999. Wow. Risks, tried a lot of new things this year, risky choices of both story and content types. Duvery Paradox was a risky blend of gameplay choices. Whisper in the Walls flirts with an unexpected future for Warframe. We have a mission to deliver this. Fair enough. The team, working with Digital Extremes team, the highlight of my career, no matter what happens. The people here care so much and motivate me every day. Nice, nice. Lessons, risks, risks have also, or risks also have a lesson attached. We take risks, sometimes these risks can impact the stability of a release. Du uh, the Duveri Paradox ultimately suffered from some launch issues. We do not want to always play it safe. But we will try to balance our ambitions and expected stability. I mean, true. Monetization. Our first round of heirloom packs resulted in heat. We will change the formula, apply lessons for 2024 when it comes to future heirlooms. More on that next year. I mean, heirlooms are pretty simple. Just take out so much bloat with Regal Aya and, uh, I mean, maybe less platinum and just have it cost a lot less and more separate bundles so you can get things that you actually want without getting bloat. It's pretty simple, right? <clears throat> Conclusions. Our philosophy continues to boil down to something simple to make the game we want to play. In Duveri, mixing story with rogue light elements was a flavor we wanted to try. We will continue fixing and polishing this content. In Dagath, quality of life was the mandate. With Navar's flavors in the package, and of course with whispers in the wall, the missions was clear. Begin the future of Warframe's major story. Yeah, I liked Whispers in the Wall. It was really nice. I loved the story. It was cute. Enjoy Whispers in the Walls and Operation Gargoyle's Cry over the holidays. Forever grateful Tenno, D.E. Rebecca. P.E. Gauss Prime, or P.S. <laughs> Gauss Prime will be a first major update that you see in January. See you then. So, that is Rebecca's year-end 2024 message to everyone. Let me know what you think. And I will see you around. Right now I'm running shenanigans on Twitch, and then maybe eventually I'll go back to regular streaming schedule. Cheers, cheers.